began writing this speech only two months after you guys met. <laughs> it was clear that something special was beginning and the simplicity of your wild connection speaks for itself. I remember Charlotte telling me about some guy who responded sassily to her anti-skinny jeans post, a response that prompted some banter, which led to an actual conversation, which led to a real connection. Not long after that, you guys were on your first date. The phrase, the Lord works in mysterious ways, has a new meaning for me now, <laughs> as I don't think I ever could have imagined that an opinionated fashion rant could have led to a marriage. <laughs> but here we are. <laughs> I have a deep and unique respect for people who choose a long-distance relationship, and you two have only deepened that respect. I have watched you commit to one another, choosing at every point to press on in love and not in fear. The final stretch is now over, and you are together forever, never to say goodbye again. He was like, yeah, I commented randomly on uh, this girl's uh, Instagram posts, and we just started talking. And I was like, that's great. And then he's like, yeah, and she lives in Charlotte, North Carolina. And I was like, oh, Alex, you sweet, sweet idiot. <laughs> but despite all the challenges that a long distance relationship could bring, Alex stayed committed. He was determined to get to know the girl and he was committed to keeping her. You continually pursued Charlotte and I know you will continue to do so because once you commit to something or someone, you're not just gonna give it half effort. I know that you will always be 100% fully committed to Charlotte.